Okay, we're gonna do a little a quick video. I don't know if you guys have the squall line kind of reels. Really good reels. Uh, they are made with a fail safe in them. There's a little gear that's located in, in, at the end of this uh, housing here. Basically, the gear looks like this. You can get the gear. Uh, this is the part number for the gear. Uh, basically, what happens is, is if, if you have your drag set too tight or something happens with this line counter, see how that thing doesn't actually rotate anymore? That line counter doesn't go, not the line counter, but the line guide doesn't go back, back and forth across the reel. Uh, so basically, what you have is you have a broken gear, and what happens is the little inside gears of this, this plastic gear actually get sheared off. And that's kind of a safety feature of the reel, so it doesn't do any internal damage, any serious damage. Uh, so basically, I order these. You know, it happens pretty regular. I order quite a few of these. As you can see, I have them in stock. Uh, and I keep them on my boat. Literally, if something happens to a reel, uh, it's something you can fix within, you know, probably five to ten minutes. So basically, you have three screws. And uh, you can pull these uh, three screws off. Uh, pull this off and, and I'll show you in a second once I get to that point I'll video okay, some as you more. can see I've already pulled out the I've got the screws removed uh, so basically you have a housing uh, you pull off the little gold plate set it aside and then when you go to pull off this housing here you'll see that uh, if you'll see actually these teeth on these gears right here are actually broken off so what happens is you'll need to pull this pin out of this reel and then you'll slide this off and then also what you want to do is you want to make sure you get all of the plastic teeth that actually broke off of this out of the inside of this gear and out of the inside of the end of this reel. So it's not actually going to cause you other problems down the road. So as you can see, I keep a toolbox, a little toolbox on my boat. Uh, basically, it's got these gears. It's got miscellaneous stuff in it. I keep a little fold-up screwdriver. As you can see, fits right in there. I keep some, uh, some grease in there and just a little bit of like a repair kit. It's a super easy fix. Uh... So then basically what you do is you take this little, uh, you take your, your gear, you pull this little bitty plate ring off, this little snap ring. Uh, as you can see, it pops off. Sometimes those will break. So I actually keep these extra in the boat as well. And then basically what you do is you pull this, you pull that gear off. So once you get this gear, uh, keep some paper towels in there or a towel. But once you get this, kind of cleaned up, you'll see uh, these little teeth that are actually missing from from this gear from this gear piece. So that's basically super simple fix. Uh, you basically take this, you put it back on uh, your reel. Uh, and what I like to do is I actually keep some uh, some pin reel grease here uh, handy. So I'll just open this up and I'll go ahead and put a little bit on the, you know, a little bit on. It doesn't take much. Put a little bit on there because once you start spinning this thing around uh, it's going to lubricate kind of lubricate itself and some guys don't like getting this all over their hands but uh so go ahead and get that on here take your paper towel and go ahead and wipe off the inside of this reel uh, and that way uh, if there's any broken pieces or any broken parts <laughs> blow it out uh, most of your gear, most of your parts are going to stick to the grease that's on that gear. Uh, so just kind of inspect it. Make sure you don't have any broken pieces in there. Uh, once you get that rolling, you basically put this gear back on. And the biggest problem you're going to have with this whole situation is getting this part back onto this, onto this thing here. So uh, I've done it a few times. I may, it may go on easy. It may not. So get it in the groove. Snap it right in. Uh, take your take your grease and go ahead and put some grease all around this here. I mean, you can't really hurt it if you get too much grease on it. It's just going to stick to the edges. But what's going to happen is it's going to allow that grease to hold onto those pieces and parts and not keep them rolling around inside where the other parts are. Because you can see by this, you can actually see the pieces uh, on that. See the pieces broke off inside there? So uh, take your take your towel and brush all that stuff off. Uh, and just make sure you don't have any parts and pieces inside of that housing. See there's one right there. If you pull that off there, you'll see that little piece of tooth off that gear. So uh, inspect it, make sure it's clear. There's another piece right there. You know, uh, double check it, make sure it's all clear. Put a little more grease on this. 
and you might as well just put a little grease on that. It ain't like it's going to hurt anything. Then basically what you do, you got your new piece set in there. Uh, you line up, you line it up on the reel. Uh, it falls right into place. You basically line up two. We just put the cap back on, line up your holes, get that back in place. That falls into place. Make sure your pin reel is running the same direction. And then when you see, from now you see it's a working reel again. So you basically, in a five minute repair, you basically fix it. Now we basically got it back together. We're gonna tighten down this last screw. And voila, now you have a working, functional line counter is working again. And you, you'll see the running right back across the reel, back to normal. Hope this helps.